Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Truth for Thought Podcast. So, I want to share a story, quick story. I'm going to try to keep it brief as possible, just because of time's sake could go on. But I want to talk about my dad passing and how just, um, it was definitely a challenging time for me and as a family, uh, what we went through and uh, thinking, you know, that her dad was invincible, you know, and, and, um, gonna live forever, you know, type thing, but I want to share first, um, about my dad passing, so my dad went home be with the Lord back in 2020 of September 3rd, I was kind of broken about that, and hurting, and mad at the Lord, and kind of stopped talking to the Lord for about a year and a half. Um, and just even more miserable than ever, not talking to him. Eventually, I started going to, uh, to classes, you know, for grieving classes, for uh, losing somebody at Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills. And I want to thank Pastor Randy for being there, uh, doing our memorial service at Calvary Chapel Upland. Um, I appreciate it, and uh, we appreciate you. And uh, he is actually currently my pastor, and I'm grateful to have him as a pastor, uh, as he rightly divides the word of God. Been walking with the Lord for a long time, and I respect um, all that he does. Um, but yeah, and, and thank you guys um, for those that know me. Thank you for being there every step of the way and encouraging me and strengthening me in the Lord and keeping me in your prayers. But it was a hard time. It definitely was a hard time, but. But I look back uh, just fairly recently, actually, and um, and I'm just like, wow, um, there's times where I do cry and miss him, you know, um, but uh, most of the time I'm doing fine, um, but sometimes when I'm exhausted and tired, and then a thought, or sometimes something will trigger it, you know, a memory, uh, I would cry, you know, I sometimes cry to the Lord, um, not a, not like the first year, you know. But, but definitely missing him, you know? And so I want to encourage anybody uh, that had a loved one pass away too, and that's why I'm doing this, because uh, you might be mad at God, as I was. And um, and you're like, why did you take my brother? Why did you take my sister, my dad, my mom, my, my, my uncle, my grandpa, my grandma? But um, everybody has an appointment, right, with the Lord. Everybody does. And so my prayer is that you would be ready to meet your maker. You would be ready, you know, and not be enemies with him. That's my prayer. That's why I'm doing these videos, that people would come to know Jesus and and what um, and his power as, as he has shown me uh, through his word. And so I want to read something to you. It's, it's a verse that I've shared with my mom to encourage her throughout the years. Even before dad passed, when she was hurting, you know, when she just felt like nobody loved her, I'd read to her Revelation chapter 21. And uh, and it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adored for her husband and i heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of god is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and god himself shall be with them and be their god and god shall wipe away every tear from their eyes there shall be no more death no more sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. And then I love this part, and he, and he sat, and the one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And then verse 6 he says, and he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is thirsty the fountain of water of life freely. So God 
God wants to take your sorrow, your pain, all the things that we go through in this life, and He wants to use it for His glory. And that's one thing the Lord has been speaking to me about. I'm trying to get out of my shell when I'm suffering, you know, for His name's sake, you know? And that's one of the blessings, you know? One of the blessings of waking up, you're like, oh, what's the promise today? Oh, you shall suffer for my name's sake. Oh, how awesome. You know, for my sake, I would say, well, I think I grabbed my mom's blessing. I think this belongs to my mom, you know. But the reality is that that is a blessing. But but the Bible says that he works all things for good. He doesn't say all things are good. He says he works all things for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. So my prayer is, is that you would come and cast your cares upon him because either way you're going to suffer with or without him. It makes no difference. and But the difference is, is that, the slightly difference is that you have a God who loves you, who will take care of you, who will be there every step of the way. He won't abandon you. He won't forsake you. And he'll use your pain and suffering for his glory. In fact, that's what he's been telling me. He's been telling me, he says, Stephen, you get outside of your mindset. It's, your suffering is not for you. It's for other people. So keep that in mind, guys. Your suffering is not for you. It's for other people. And I pray that you would rest in his love. You would rest in his grace and allow him to minister to your heart and allow healing to take place in your life. To not be angry with him, but to just say, Lord, I'm suffering. I'm mad and I'm angry and I'm frustrated. But you know what? Um, I know you're using it for your glory and I trust you, Lord. And that's the reality of it. Taking up our cross daily and following him and trusting him that he will complete that work. And and I was thinking last night as I was writing, I was like, man, the sufferings that we go through as I was listening to Pastor David on the podcast, it's temporary. It's, it's, it's minuscule compared to eternity. Eternity is forever. One day we're going to be with God our Savior to those who have been born again. And all of those sufferings are going to seem meaningless. And it's so, and it seemed right to just rest in that. Like, wow, my sufferings are minuscule. They're, they're minor, you know. But God, God's love is so infinite and, and everlasting. That's what his word says. And we can rest in it. So rest in his unchanging love, guys. Believer, non-believer. And, uh, and run to him and find peace and rest in his word. God bless, guys. Take care and subscribe and follow for more.